What's up fam, it's your boy Demir here, purveyor of all sounds underground. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today where I'll be just sharing some quick thoughts on gear versus creativity um, because I receive questions all the time in my DMs about how you know to remain creative and what equipment will you know allow an artist to continue being creative and anyway I, I just have some particular thoughts on that but before we jump into it what I need from you is that SLC hit subscribe like comment and more importantly hit the notifications bell to stay in touch with the new videos that we have up and coming okay so let's talk about this thing called gear and creativity uh, what do you need in order to remain creative and I don't think I'm gonna run through a bunch of points on this one because it's a simple answer uh, which is creativity comes from the heart and mind it's about what you surround yourself with and how you interpret and absorb those things and then push them out into your creative channels I think some people think that you need a certain type of gear to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve and all I could say is uh, I come from the school of thought that less is more and you've probably heard me say this numerous times in other videos but I think about like those days of chilling in my mom's basement with some friends back in high school and having like that old Casio I think it's the SK1 sampler had like four seconds of sample time and I listened to those beat tapes and I'm like how in the world did I get this stuff off you know full beats full creativity and and what allowed me to do that was I just didn't accept that there's any limitation to my creativity you work with what you have like Moody Man says that uh, in his infamous uh, Red Bull interview and if you haven't seen it I highly recommend you Google it and check it out. We'll try and put the link uh, below in the description. But check it out. It's just working with what you have and exhausting every possible avenue from it. It's one of the things I actually fear today when it comes to creativity is just having too much shit. Like stuff you haven't turned on in weeks or months, haven't even used in a sketch or in an actual release beat or you know an EP you signed to a label so you know I think it's just more about doing more with what you have and just throwing yourself right into the thralls of that piece of gear and exhausting every ounce of creativity you can get from it I've seen people make crazy tracks with just a laptop and a set of decent headphones and you know a drive or hard drive just filled with samples and they've found creative ways to chop those up in the DAWs that they have whether it's Logic or Ableton to get the job done and I sometimes wish for those days and wonder man if I just said no I'm not gonna use any of these things uh, what I can achieve but I'm just in a different place creatively where any piece of gear I've obtained is serving a specific purpose. And if I'm not achieving that, like if I haven't turned on a piece of gear in over a month or so, then I know, okay, I made the wrong decision and it's time to move on. Um, but if I have a piece of gear that is solving a particular issue or I know will take me to a certain level creativity creatively um, I'll just dive right into that and make sure I exhaust it but I'm just here to tell you don't don't feel overwhelmed in the process that you need all of these different pieces of kit to get a great sound off I've seen people achieve very good sounding or great sounding records uh, with the little that they've got versus people who have access to like multi-million dollar studios and the stuff that comes out of there is absolute shit. So um, I just want to leave you with that. Don't lose that spirit and exhausting everything creatively possible. Like for me now, I'm actually thinking, man, like how can I use my CDJs as my new sampler? <laughs> you know, because when I'm DJing, I'm coming up with different things 
in creative moments. Even, you know, you, like I did a back-to-back -back the other night with uh, native, uh, uh, native with Nathan Parado um, out here in Toronto, and it was fun, and there were some moments in there. It's like, damn, that sounds good. You know, how can I recreate that on my CDJs and spit it back into uh, my DAW here? So, anyway, I just want to leave you with that, just a quick short one because it's really about a state of mind and uh, your creativity is really only limited by your thoughts uh, not necessarily by the gear or what access to gear that you have so I'm gonna end on that note much love and respect to you peace